Mr. Yang is a fort. Ah. Two is one plus one. Silence is golden. Yeah, that must be a lucky guess. Still, I approve. Great, I'll give you the info to an abacus of the drifting clouds. I'm not a fan of the drifting clouds as the verses do not follow a certain pattern. Still, I must say this is a good poem that stirs my heart. This is much better than the Togro before, but I can't feel your affection. You didn't write this, did you? I've made some poet in India. The poems they write are considered mine. And you know what? You can have as many poems like this as you want. If you like it, I can write more for you. Thank you, but I'm sorry, I can't accept it. Please, go home. For the Vidyara, the hatching rebirth will wash away their memory. However, for some reason, after every reincarnation of Guyu, he always finds me and immediately falls over, head over heels for me. I thought it was romantic and fun too in the beginning. He was a cloud knight at some point and a diviner working with me at some other point. There was also a poet who wrote poems for me. For Kong, it's his first time meeting me. And the feelings he has for me are new, but for me, this has been my fourth reunion with him. Sure, why species couples easily make promises about eternal love, but once you live long enough, you will discover how life slowly deprives you of your feelings. What lady is crying her eyes out? Who's crying? There's no one crying. Anyway, hello, old man. <clears throat> Ah, there's traces of history everywhere you look aboard Zienjo. But Zienjo natives don't even know these things' true value. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? You wouldn't get it even if I told you. Your outfit, are you an outworld or two? Then I guess we can talk a little about it. The Zienjo natives are different from us. Ask any of them and you'll find they've lived for centuries. What we our world is considered ancient history is actually just a childhood memory for them. This means the study of history on Zian Zhou is completely different from what we consider as history. Or put simply, they lack respect for the past. Archaeologists often speculate on the past by studying utensils and inspections and inscriptions from antiquity. But on Zian Zhou, everything is perpetually being upgraded. They simply chuck out centuries old antiques. It's just awful. You're also a keen student of Zienjo history. Apologies, I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Todd from the Internet Gia Guild. We can discuss things a little more if you're interested in the Zienjo history. What are you doing here, looking around like this? Uh, it's you, Jupiter Free. I'm looking for an assistant. Someone familiar with the local situation. Friendly, well-educated. A capable adventurer, an outworlder, all these qualities must be present to help me finish my research project on CN Show. Are you looking for an assistant or the protagonist of a story? You think I'm asking for too much? These are just the basic requirements for an assistant when it comes to the guild's research. We scholars from the intelligence of guild must deeply penetrate into alien civilizations and win their trust while also braving any natural disasters we may encounter, is as dangerous as being in the nameless. See, there's a stellar on causing calamity here. My plans to research the medical history of the Zianjo just went down the drain. The vocals originally gave approval for me to enter the Alchemy Commission. Browse medical texts <coughs> and exchange research findings with us, but they kept delaying my visit. Zianjo residents might be able to afford the weight, but my old bones simply can't. Now what has happened in the Alchemy Commission? How do you know that? Wait, I've been looking everywhere, but you seem to know a lot about what's happening inside the Alchemy Commission. I heard that the General of the Fu invited some outworlders to get involved in their internal affairs in a rare turn of events. Could you be one of those people? What luck, Jupiter. Are you interested in becoming my assistant? I don't meet your requirements, though. Forget about those darn requirements. I swear with my invaluable academic reputation, I, Todd Rydon, 
railed on. Hereby humbly promise that I would never withhold pay, and will provide Jupiter with personal insurance and double pay for any overtime. How is that oath good enough? What exactly do I need to do? Don't worry. We'll start with running an errand, the most simple task of all. I want you to go to the Alchemy Commission to pick up some research materials. It won't take too long. Please help a fellow out, world or young lady. Say, I need to see Encho medical textbook called the com com Compodium or com whatever, the thing of remedies. Could you please head over there to the Alchemy Commission and bring it to me? There was no approval. Did you want to steal the book? Look, we are both educated people. Could we use a less ar accusatory word? Perhaps borrow? I've stated they've already approved my request to borrow it. The Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist approved my request when I met her. According to the Guild's creed, knowledge should be exchanged with an equally valuable piece of knowledge. I gave her a copy of an ancient text and she gifted me a prescription the Guild had never seen. Go, I'll give you the approval documents. Don't let an old man like me wait too long. At my age, arthritis is a vertebral dormant. Okay. Yeah, brand new this, brand new that. I'll show you what's brand new. I got asked to leave before I even finished writing the prescription. It can't be helped, it's a mess everywhere. Uh, hello, how can I help you? The Book of Remedies? I remember looking up a prescription there two days ago. Your clothes, are you an outworlder here for treatment? Why do you want that book? Are you trying to write prescriptions for yourself? How preposterous! Since you're already here, a hero will attend to you sooner or later. You can't treat yourself with a medical textbook. The Intelligence C application to borrow textbooks? I think I've heard about this. With the commission chaos, all of our colleagues are being interrogated by the Cloud Knights. I don't think anyone would know about the request you're talking about. However, the new chief alchemist, Lady Yulu, might be able to help you. I think she's somewhere around here. You can try asking her. It's best to ask the chief alchemist about important businesses such as outworld outsiders borrowing our medical texts. I'll take that. Can I teleport, please? What do you sell? How can you sell a stuff if they're just asking you to hold on to it? I'm I'm sorry, I'm skipping the dialogue because I'm just trying to buy. Um, hi, how can I help you? Compodium of Remedies? The Intelligence of the Guild application. I see, it was something Lady Donchu approved of when she still held the post. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't call her Lady anymore. I don't want to change her policies, but you must have heard about her crimes, right? The Cloud Knights are thoroughly investigating the Commission, and even our day-to-day -day job as healers are being affected. Alright, I'll go into Klein Todd's offer. These medical textbooks are not highly confidential files, nor do they contain forbidden knowledge. But I'm not the one who made the rules. After what happened in the Alchemy Commission, every exchange request has to be reapproved. I just came back from a foreign business trip myself. The Alchemy Commission hadn't experienced a huge upheaval and armed conflict. Everything is a mess, so many books have been dispelled from the workplaces. I mean, bookshelves. Yeah. I even saw some books hanging off trees. You will smiles at you. I still need to continue making inventory. If there's nothing else, let's talk another time. Hmm. Hanging off trees, huh? 
Well, butter the popsicle. Looks like we're gonna have to see it. Oh, you can go somewhere else. You don't need to worry about me, dickhead. Um, are you the claim specialist from Heron Express? But your clothes? Or do I feel like you're an L-worlder? Did I get the wrong person? What's a claim specialist? They're an Heron Express staff that specifically manages shipping incidents and provides after-scale support. The Cloud Knight said it's not safe around here and I should stay home for a few days, but I still haven't memorized my medical books, so I spend a hefty sum to have Heron Express over the books. But that Psycrean kept running into walls and trees before it even left the Alchemy Commission. I'm so angry. I watched Helpless Season like books fell from the sky. Oh, my textbooks. My precious textbooks. If Heron Express doesn't pay me a million or two, they'll never hear the end of it from me. Where are your books? You're looking for the Book of Remedies? Looking for you, I do have one of the volumes. But, with the shipping incident, that book ended up in the tree. If you can find it, then it's yours. I recorded the incident anyway, so Heron Express specialists just aren't coming, huh? They sure have guts. Seems like I'll have to visit them myself. Hit the tree. Hit. This is an ordinary tree. You can somehow hear the sound of flapping pages as wind blows through the leaves. You carefully search the tree for the source of the sound and find a book hanging on the branches. The scene gives off a crude sense of beauty. Could this be the textbook that you will mention? You decide to... Jump up and reach for the branch. You jump as high as you can and lift your arms and try to reach the branch. Time stops the moment your feet leave the ground. You are, you are concerned that you might reach something you shouldn't touch, just as a bird nest or a beehive. As you ponder about this, a book falls from the tree. This is part two. We need part one. Um, empty box. People talk about shooting fish in a barrel, but never about getting books out of one. You're lucky to encounter such a rare occurrence. Today, your happiness came from books. You found one of the volumes of the Compodium of Remedies. Getting late. Where to now? The voice of history. It's you. Can never I can tell by looking at your face that you're a workaholic just like me. I'm either swamped by primary sources or running around everywhere on these. Wait a minute. No. Anyway, what's this kid in the action? Really? Let me see. Looks like the prescription she gave does not exist in this book. <sighs> what about the ingredients in it? What are you researching? I want to find where the prescription the last chief alchemist gave me is genuine. After all, I gave her a copy of Theories on Returning from the Underworld, which is an invaluable ancient text. Of course, I need to see how good her returning gift is. That woman's gifts always contain evil intent. Oh, you've already dealt with her. 
This prescription is recorded in the medical textbooks, but there's an extra ingredient. The prescription didn't say what this ingredient is or where it comes from. It's called Define Auto Twig. This is the name of a common medicine as the end show. Jupiter, what do you think? I'm guessing it's a twig from the bodies of the Marastruck. The Marastruck? Why was the Enzo native do such odd stuff in the medicines? Todd looks at you puzzled. But it does make sense. I've seen these monsters with the branches on their bodies. Looks like we've got another mission. Jupiter, bring me a sample of this ingredient. It shouldn't be too hard for you, right? Jupiter free, old Todd can't rely on you now. If I can't figure out this key issue, that means my net gain would be zero from this exchange of knowledge. Now go and I'll pay you handsomely. I don't need to go anywhere, I just need to talk to you. Are you kidding me? Of course. You're gonna tell me, after the many people I've killed, I don't have it? What in the world is going on? Why are things such a mess? I didn't even get to meet anyone I knew when I got back. I just got promoted to Chief Alchemist all of a sudden. Congratulations! Thanks. Hey, what brings you here? Do you need to retrieve any books? Oh, weren't you the one who asked for the Compodium of Remedies last time? I helped you last time, so could you do me a favor in return? Please forgive me for this awkward situation. Actually, in addition to medical texts, we also keep some forbidden tomes here in the Alchemy Commission. They're supposed to be carefully preserved, but now they've been stolen. I guess the theft has something to do with the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus as well. I've asked to see a Divine Foresight, but they haven't found any clues about the Forbidden Tomes. It's turning into a real headache for me. Oh, by your ast astonished expression, I can tell that you actually want to say, Come on, has the Alchemy Commission ever done anything right? Now you see how perilous my position as the Chief Alchemist is. I can't guarantee that I'll even find them. But why is the Alchemy Commission keeping these tomes? Because these tomes are also medical texts. In a sense, they themselves are a treatment method. Just by reading them, patients will experience miraculous things. For example, some patients who read for cure for insomnia fall asleep for a long time, while others who read fight sleepiness never fall asleep. You should destroy such books before it's too late. Some heroes in the Alchemy Commission also advocate for the destruction of the forbidden tomes just like you. But in my opinion, since those tomes have medicinal value, they can be really helpful if they end up in the right hands. There is a certain reading barrier for those forbidden tomes, so they are completely harmless to the majority of people. However, if they fall into the hands of someone who is skilled at deciphering them, it pains me to imagine the terrible things that could happen. They must be retrieved as soon as possible. Is it okay to spill your secrets like this? Don't worry, a lot of members of the Alchemy Commission know about the Forbidden Tomes, and some of them have a reputation for having loose whips. Retrieving these tomes won't be easy if we rely solely on our intelligence network. That's why I need your help with this. After all, it is Madame Chinsu from the Sea of Divine Foresight who recommended you to me. Since I need your help, it's my duty to help you everything help you with everything. I know about that I know about this issue. Otherwise it'd be a hassle, right? I guess I'll see what I can do. Awesome! I wasn't sure if you'd help me with Madame Chinsu, who recommended you, but now I can see that she was right to have faith in you. So you need to retrieve three scrolls, the Manuscript of Wisdom, the Manuscript of Silence, and the Manuscript of Rillium. While I don't have any leads on them, I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. The Manuscript of Wisdom? Once an older person read this book and suddenly became intelli incredibly intelligent. Although they weren't on par with members of the Genius Society, they became way smarter than ordinary people. The Manuscript of Silence? Once a blind person read this book and claimed they could hear the sound of silence, although no one knows where exactly such sound of silence comes from. The Manuscript of Derulium? Once a reckless person tried to read this book, but as soon as they opened it, they started convulsing and then passed out. I'll come back to you once I find them. I have no idea where to find them. Huh. You're just having tinnitus. The most well-known landmark. Oh, can you just give me some peace and quiet? I already been criticized again recently. What happened? Have you joined the Alchemy Commission for a short time? I was involved in a pretty absurd matter. 
Anyway, it's a long story. Why didn't you tell me about it? We're colleagues, aren't we? Don't worry, I'm good at keeping secrets. It's just I'm not meticulous enough when making prescriptions. Well, this criticism is just as you see if there's a chance to train yourself to be tougher. If the comments are too harsh, don't take them to heart, you'll soon get over it. Who didn't make mistakes when they were young? It's part of the process for your age. Just take it as a lesson. Stop, stop, stop! Lord, can you just pipe down for a bit? You're giving me a headache. Just spit it out already. You want to know about prescriptions? Then go ask an alchemist. My specialty is in surgery. That kind that open the kind that opens people up? Scared yet? Oh, aren't you a tough one? Fine, I'll say it in another way. Go find a real professional. This this isn't my expertise. I want to check something. It says Winston is still on, which is good. The High Elder commanded the lunar the news is spreading pretty fast. The word got out pretty quickly, huh? Even my sister came and told me about it. Well, it's caused quite a stir. So what exactly is going on? Why is everyone talking about it? Here's the story. A hero prescribed a pellet to a patient as it turns out. The patient swallowed the entire pellet without reading the prescription in full. But that pellet sealed in wax was as big as someone's fist. The prescription laid it out very clearly that the patient had to cut the pellet open and consume the medicinal extract inside. I have no idea how the patient managed to swallow the pill. As big as a fist? It's unbelievable that the patient could even swallow it. Indeed, however, I'm not surprised by it. After all, I've dealt with all sorts of patients over the years of the Alchemy Commission. Does that guy work in a day? You know, the big fella. Traveling healer is just my dad's disguise. You say you're a Realm Keeping Commission Officer? Hey, where were we? And now what? Uh, how can I help you? If you are here after treatment, please go to the hero's market and make a booking. The hero suddenly looks very nervous. Who did you hear that name? Um, she was prescription. I never thought the Master Primus gifted this prescription to the guild. How surprising. It's a pity that the short wire species would never understand the secrets behind this ingredient. Let me tell you the truth. This is nothing less than the overgrown on the bodies of monstrous Zianjo natives. You cannot obtain this ingredient without killing Zianjo humans. Are you a remnant of, disi of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Shut the fuck up, kid! Yes, I took time Shut off you to old bastard! You during your hatching rebirth. I'm in the middle of talking! Anyway. The Master Primus was martyred, and the disciples all scattered. I had no choice but to hide as well. I can pretend this never happened today, but if you don't want the Cloud Knights of the Ten Wards Commission giving you trouble, you better leave right now, otherwise. I can't make any promises. Sorry, I work for the Seed of Divine Foresight? You scoundrel! Try harder. You're in bad shape. Let's go. Take this! <laughs> Seems you need to calm your body and mind. Damn it. It's not what I Bleeding need. Bleeding light, roaring flood. <clears throat> Savor the vigor of life. <clears throat> Leave the rest to me. I won't go easy on you. Unworthy of my time. A blade of moonlight. Why is she about to die? Let's make it quick. You can still walk away. Calm your body and mind. Blade fodder. <laughs> Say you're a realm keeper.
peacekeeping commission officer? Pretty soon here, I'll have my 60 vitality stuff, and then I can go and it's getting late. grind a couple more Where things for Natasha's white cone. The voice of history. Thank you for your hard work. Fascinating. This thing does look similar to twigs, but its veins shine with golden light. These mysterious mysteries must be related to the ancient natives' legends. Scarlet Burning will be so jealous once he finds out what I've learned here. I don't have a lot of tools here with me, but the guild's research finally has some progress after a long delay. Thank you, Jupiter. You are touching upon the Ciencio's forbidden secrets. What? Forbidden secrets? I don't seek medicines to grant immortality, and don't wish to become a long life species. What forbidden secrets am I unveiling? What crime is it to collect a small twig that could have come from anywhere? Besides, you gave me this twig yourself. You've helped me so much, and I'm definitely not a stingy person. Apart from tangible cash, I will also provide the most common reward for the intelligence seer guild. That of knowledge, after all. Knowledge is worth more than gold. I will share with you all the information I gained from this project. Take this manuscript and keep it safe. I'll come find you again, young one, if I need to conduct more research. Hmm. That lady is crying. Who is crying? I've never taken part in a soul soothing ceremony before. You must be Jupiter, right? I heard a lot about you. I'm Wenwen, a specialist from Heron Express. That's me. I believe Zyku has already told you that many Heron Express cargo has been lost in transit. Heron Express wants to commission you to go to the place where the goods were lost and search for them with Psycranes from a high vantage point that would make for more efficient than getting people to manually look with the naked eye. Those places are, compl are com complicated in topography and are not very safe. You might encounter some dangers along the way. If we're ready, we'll go ahead and move out. Uh, it's another one of those expedition things again, huh? Hmm. Okay, so that's what that is. Uh, how many of these do I have? Oh wait, I bought the last preservation thing anyway. Abacuses. Huh? What? What did I just do? We I don't know. I just came across. No point in grabbing those. Alright, pretty much got everything I needed out of that. Go grab some level rewards. Pom Pom, what are you always depressed about? What's weighing on your damn mind? For the next adventure, to ensure sufficient supplies, you have to. I'll just. Oh my god, that's terrible! I'll lead the way in cutting spending. Can't believe you have such dedication. Pom Pom is very happy. But don't worry, everything is under Pom Pom's control. You may not know, various materials are needed in order to ensure the normal operation of the Astral Express. But before we had a good relationship with the space station, Himiko and Asta reached some kind of resource supply agreement. For some basic supplies, we can go directly to the corresponding department to ask for them. Well, but don't ask for things that are too expensive and troublesome. Since you're here, I've told Asta and she's already informed the person in charge of the corresponding department. Why don't you run the errand for me this time? What, what do I get out of it? That's my trailblazer level. Give me this. I need that. What do I get out of this quest? What do I actually get? A book. 
It goes away in three hours. What? Oh, I don't care to do these then. If these are basically daily quests, I don't care to do these. Now that I see they have a timer, they are of absolute zero importance to me. Zero.